Hi friends, I am broadcasting from a brand new studio, actually <laughs> uh, just <laughs> so exciting. borrowing the Beachy Mamas podcasting studio, which is actually uh, a bedroom at Liz's house. She is <laughs> going to be my special guest for today's Coco's Corner. Uh, it's very organized in this room compared to where I like to broadcast from. Listen, it's a process. I- <laughs> my bedrooms have not always looked like this, but... I know my my um, my office slash workout slash my mom is visiting this week, so it's her Whoa. bedroom, uh, which is now an air mattress. So you know, sorry, mom, um, we had to get rid of your queen size bed for other things in the house. That's what happens when you have kids; it evolves. Also, and is mom visiting every single day for no. sixty five? No, no, Moms right, are fine. They're right. Fine. So, and I'm sure she'll be cuddled up and I'll probably offer up my bed so that she can hang with the twins. Oh, so, you're sweet. I am. I'm a good daughter. You are a I'm, good daughter. You're yeah. a good daughter. Firstborn. Good, mama, good friend. <laughs> what? Are you first? Yeah. I am. Firstborn. Okay, oh. me too. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Yeah. It is. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to, so the, so kind of what I've been sharing on Coco's Corner uh, the last several weeks have been like about my Enneagram and I thought mm-hmm. this would be a great way to finally introduce Liz. Um, she was kind of, not kind of, she was the one <laughs> who uh, told me about Jen Hatmaker and the fierce and... Fierce, free, and full of fire. Okay. It's so- Listen, it's like my... Bible. It's, it's not, but it, you know, it kind of is. I, as I'm listening to it, I ask Liz like do you know Jen <laughs> so, are you and Jen the exact same person because now that we've been hanging out the last several months right there's a lot of things that you say that she's been saying and I'm only into like five chapters of this book so that's it's, it and you already feel that way oh yeah like oh, I what was so like, good about it. so <laughs> I also when Coco told me that she felt this way about me and Jen Hatmaker I also shared that my husband Brad listened to the same book and basically said the same thing yeah. like five chapters it's in. Creepy. He's like, uh, are you guys the same it's person? Strange. And the thing is, like, I love Jen Hatmaker so much, but I have been listening and following her for so many years. We've me, evolved together. Okay, let me ask you have you, ch- or not changed, but have you thickened up some of your skills, like what she's talked about? Because I feel a lot of things that she said, I can hear you have already said some of these things. I think so. I think that I have seen... Like, like, building your skills more. Like, she's very much of an encourager. Like, she's been through there, so she's like, girl, okay, now... 100%. Okay. 100%. And earlier today, you and I were talking, and, like, we I was saying how I feel like sometimes I, for you, am, like, an encourager because my kids are bigger Mm -hmm. than the twins, right? Yes. So, Jen Hatmaker has kids who are bigger. And so, like, she's been through the fire of teenagers, Mm -hmm. and, like the 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 wrath of teenagers yeah. and all of the chaos and I read her posts and I see what she says about it and she talk she talks about leaning into yeah she the does. chaos right yeah. leaning into those years and realizing that like yeah it's gonna be dumb mm-hmm. and it's gonna be idiotic and I love it because that's it's how so, she talks no, right so, that's what okay. she says she and she's like Jesus be near like we all need yeah. Jesus so much. Yeah. In these these times. She's so, also, she's so authentic with her relationship with the Lord. And I love that because I feel like I'm trying to be authentic with who I am and where I'm at, what I'm doing in my life. Um, Which, this is what I wanted to talk about for this very special podcast. It's my 41st birthday, y'all. Birthday week. Birthday week. So, I wanted to share... It's interesting that I'm celebrating, but I wanted to share like what I feel like I've accomplished in what is a big 40th year, right? There's it's a huge. big old like you're turning 40. Also, it's not weird that you're celebrating. Like we should be celebrating. No, you're right. But so you're right. We I feel like we are two girls trying to change, normalize the weird, awkward things that yes. people are like because you're right. I remember when my mom's friend turned 40. It was, they gave her, like, diapers. Yeah, it was, like, being old. It was that over-the-hill over the hill, over the hill party. All black. Yes. Like, everybody was depressed. Graveyard, tombstones. Y'all, 40 is the new 20. It really is. Let's and this is real. what I'm here to say. Yep. Was, you, yes. I got you, girl. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm basically friend, best friends with Jen Hatmaker, by the way. Okay, oh, so, hi. So, we're going to so, send this podcast to Jen Hatmaker, by the way. And then we're going to get famous. Tell her right now. <laughs> Uh, but you're right. So I wanted to share that, but I wanted to bring Liz on because 
Um, I felt like the first six months of my 48th year, I was just coasting. It wasn't until January I met this crazy lady that... <laughs> Which is so bizarro. Yeah. I feel like we've known each other forever. Yes. Yeah, so my 40th year brought a couple of things. So I actually went to my phone and was just kind of looking through photos. Mm -hmm. Like, just trying to see, like, what were some big giant things that, like, stuck out. So just yeah. automatically as I experienced my first trip to the ER with my son. Oh, gosh. That wait, was wait, what happened? six days after we turned 40. Wait, what, what um, happened? Really quick. Clips oh, just, um, he had, like, arthritis in his oh, um, hip. Oh, and so, so his, um, he couldn't step down on his foot. So I thought his knee was jacked, but it was right. his hip. So we had to do x-rays y'all trying to draw blood from <laughs> a two year old. Yeah, I know. The Lord worst. Jesus. I was and in COVID. So my husband couldn't be there. It was so a bad hard. thing. Okay. So that was the first thing that's I wrote a, down. But hey, that's a big milestone. It, I felt like you, it was. Did you make it through? Yes. There you um, go. And Wait. so when I saw the photo of my sweet baby and then even me, I, it like <gasps> so mamas yes, love it just try to hang in there in your first er trip you're gonna be scared to death yep. it's gonna be so scary it's gonna be so awful um but you have to be so strong so try to break down after you leave the er on a real yep. note like it was 100%. very hard for me listen we're gonna talk about that on beachy mamas okay but make it a note <laughs> like make a note it was hard for me um let's see and then really after that just oh and the second thing i wrote down this happened in august is we got lice as a family so. oh my god that is <laughs> The worst, like, oh. oh my gosh, I remember Finn getting lice for the first time. But your whole family? How are y'all not bald? Well, my husband's bald. Hi, my, well, that's why my husband's bald. So Wait, swear? That's so, why he's bald? No. No, okay, no he sorry. says he's bald because of me. Uh, no. That's why I have uh, right hair. Right. You know, so, um, so, yeah, we got lice, and I'll never forget. I'm writing this one down, too. Never forget. <laughs> Um, the, the call we got and how I immediately had a panic attack. Um, and this is not a plug. I'm not being, I'm not being paid to say this, but if you live here in the coastal bend, you want to call the Los angels because oh, that's what there? I did. Okay, cool. Honey. So good. I didn't know I had lice. She, she oh, combed me. Oh, shoot. She combed oh. me. How, we were also live on her TikTok. No. Cause she's famous. The Los angels here in Corpus <laughs> is famous. Okay. So I was like, I I'll do it. Googling. And so she... She combed my hair and I was riddled with it, honey. Stop. I'm not lying. And your head didn't even itch. No. Because like when my kids get the life sweater, like even somebody in their class has life. Yeah, no, every I'm like itchy. No, so my kids my kids prompted the life sweater. They were patient. Let me tell you this. Yeah, they were patient. <laughs> let me tell you this. Listen, write this down. Did you know that lice can live underwater for 72 hours? I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. That's where they live. Stop. Water? Stop. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because I was like tracking through like where would we get picked? So anyway, so yeah, we got lice in August. I, have also, <laughs> I know. You can't see me, but I have hives right now. <laughs> so, like, I'm itching so, and I have hives. So, so that's how okay. we kicked off our 40th Day year. That's, that's why I'll, <laughs> That's why I'm like a new mom. So I have friends that I graduated with who have grandkids. Yeah, same. Okay, so... I'm like the but, yeah. oldest mom of my group. Even in like my twin mom group, like right. oh, my head's itching. I'm sorry, hold on. I just gotta get this <laughs> real quick. I was not gonna do it, but I have to. Oh gosh. Oh okay. because we were talking about the lights. I know I wasn't I thought I was gonna have the reaction. Okay. Um anyway, so I'm the oldest mom. So just doing all this is right. like what? <laughs> okay. So then as I'm looking through my photos for my 40th year, I literally wrote January through now. S H I <laughs> exclamation <laughs> point show. It's kind of like what it's been like. Um, and this is when I met Jen was in January. So just a quick backstory in November, I was working uh, full time doing uh, mm -hmm. a position with a, a big company here in town and decided it was time for me to move on. And it was a very hard decision for me to do, yeah. but it was, it was time for me to do what I needed to do. And that was in November. Right. But I was also still working at the radio station. Right. Well, at that time, I was like, okay, I'm throwing it all back into the radio station. I've been doing radio for uh, just in the industry since 19, well, 2000, 2001. Right. So I've been doing it for, for a, a while. Long time. Went to school to be in radio, been doing it. 
Uh, so I was like, I'm gonna throw myself completely into radio. How can I reinvent some things? How can I really get plugged in the community? What are some things right. I can do? And that was our first. And that's when oh. I had reached out to, I had no idea who really was the lady or the mom behind Coastal Bend Mom Collective. But I was saw how much stuff she was doing on Instagram, but I just <laughs> thought, how can we do more? There's right. gotta be something more there. So I reached out to her and we had this hour long Zoom. I yeah. was in the station, I was yeah. like, who is this lady? But I'm just hey, intrigued. TBH, I was like so nervous oh. and a little bit starstruck because like, I mean, I didn't grow up in Corpus. Mm. So I'm not, I mean, we meet people all the time. Like Coco and I, we go out, we meet people. They're yeah. always like, oh my God, I didn't come on the radio. Yeah. I've been listening to you since I was two, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, I follow your story. Um, I didn't grow up here, so but I had heard of Coco on the radio. Oh, and I was like, cool. <gasps> and I remember telling Rad Brad, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a Zoom with Coco on the That's radio. Funny. And then here we are. And I felt the same way, like, oh, Jay, my husband. I was like, Jay, <laughs> the Coastal Bay mom lady, like, totally was like, she wants to set up a Zoom. Like, she's totally all in with, like, us <laughs> meeting. So, so funny that also that we both uh, can appreciate what she, which, yes. with, I can't even say, with what each other are doing. Help me. Uh, yeah, no, it, exactly. Doing. Like, we, I mean, from the, the first meeting, it's like, we yeah. can bounce things off. 100% yeah. understand and respect what each other's doing. Yeah, so, so back to your 40 years. We, we, we met and we just had this in, incredible connection. So we're like, okay, let's figure out what that looks like. So this yeah. is around January. And listen, it's kind of wild. We all know what the first of the year looks like. I'm not really sure what's going on, but we have a lot of grandioso ideas. Mm -hmm. We're also trying to drink water, eat right, and exercise because those <laughs> are the plans. <laughs> right? I'm sorry I didn't like, help that. Like, our, <laughs> Yeah. Our main goal is like, oh, I've just made 42 goals and I'm going to do them all right now. Um, so we're all kind of focused on that and we're still in contact. We're not really sure kind of what's going on um, around and at, uh, also around that time. Um, I had been nominated for the Social Media Influencer Award for the Addy Awards right. here in Corpus Christi. It's so exciting. Also, which was still so strange for me because I've never been uh, nominated in anything in that category, nor do I feel like I am a social media influencer. Sure. Just interesting because I just felt like I've been cooking on the radio for so long, but I also share a lot on social and okay. I was a social media influencer for a company here in town that I was working for right. and doing some other office stuff. Um, so I was honored, but in a million years did I think I was going to win? Yeah. No, because the category was thick. Was it? There was a lot of amazing creators in the coastal bend that were nominated. So I had, I had, I, I don't, I didn't know what was going to happen. Like um, zero expectations. Zero. Like I, zero. Just excited to be on the ballot. And freaked because I was like, this is a new territory. Right. I don't, I didn't consider it. Well, I won that. I. Amazing. <laughs> like happy 40th. Yeah, and I mean, so it did, did it make you feel validated for all of this stuff? It did, and I was like, radio? "Like you have to schlep." You do a have to schlep. Lot in you radio. Do. I think that's another thing. People think that there's like this crazy glamorous mm -hmm. life in radio. I'm just letting you guys know. I just um, I'm trying to get some food stamps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I mean seriously, like people don't realize yeah. that at all. I never got into radio for the money. My number one goal, and it's funny how we're doing a full circle is um, I wanted to be able to share great experiences with other people and share community with other people. And I remember what it was like to hear my name on the radio. <laughs> and I just, the power of a shout out and how that, like the smile yes. that you have on your face, because you know what yeah, that feels I like. I had a person, I like, to be on yes. the radio and the DJ says like, happy birthday, Liz, yeah. the song's out to you, blah, blah, blah. Right. And I'm just from a small hometown radio station, so I just wanted to bring that. And I was yeah. just, I wanted I to do that. it. Um, so it was more to me than any ever dollar in the entire world. Like, right. there's just there's just no money in that. You got to do a lot of things. So there's a lot of schlepping to yes. be done. There's a lot of hours. <laughs> like, the only word. I mean, I washed vans for a, a minute, like, right. at the radio station and folded t-shirts. I started a promotion. That's another thing. Listen, um, remember that there are dues to be paid in your position. Yes. Um, always be... Always be uh, driven. I want you to do more. But at the radio station, I was like, I'll do whatever I can to get on the air. It That's took right. a hot minute. I washed radio station vans and folded t-shirts and packed 
luggage, like bins to take to the state fair of Texas right. that I worked for six weeks straight every single day in Absolutely. the sun. Okay. And that's such a lesson so, yes. for everyone, especially yeah. the, like, if you're raising kids, yeah. like tell your kids yes. this story, teach them that, like yeah. they're not going to be able to come in at age 22 and no, let's, take half days and go play golf oh, every Tuesday. Like, yeah. no, no, I'm sorry. Do you know what the boss had to do for yeah. 25 years to yeah. get to that point? Learn that in your 20s and not your 40s. <laughs> you know, but you did. Well, I did, but I just I want you I want you to be sharing that. Um, we get so many things glamorized on social media. 100%. It takes a lot of work. So when yeah. I won that social media influencer award, I think about all the hard work and the exactly and you should and how um, vulnerable also that I am on social. Speaking of, I also got a viral video on TikTok in my fortieth year. This was so unexpected. Um, in February, a little side note. Um, uh, no, 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 in March. Let's see, I got off my medicine in March. Okay. Oh, also, I quit my radio career after 20 years. Uh, after being back for about three, uh, May 4th would have been four years that I was back on the radio, I think, if I'm remembering my math. But I also made a massive decision to um, quit my radio career uh, so that I could be home with my twins. So this is what I say, like, from January to, like, now has just been absolutely We're insane. Away. Where I wasn't coasting, I had big decisions to make, right. a lot of decisions that are still not made. Uh, and I've just met Liz during all of this. Um, and I've got to share it um, through the Coco's Corner podcast, through the Beachy Mamas, and then also with the passion of gardening um, with Leanne, yeah. you know, Fox Farm. And it was during that time in between uh, winning the social media award quitting my job I started gardening because I was detoxing off of hard right. prescribed pills do you pills. realize I went to take a pause do you realize how much you've done I mean it's like is it crazy yes it's insane is and it? incredible girl I'm so proud of you like you I, kicked ass and oh, are you allowed to say we are <laughs> okay, I, sorry. I do I mean you have I'm I just so, it's incredible it's amazing it's amazing. I don't ever think I sit in it long enough. And so it was this morning when I just sat, yeah. interesting, that I mm -hmm. sat and had to open up my phone and like look at photos to go like, chick. Yeah. You're Big alive stuff. and breathing. Big stuff. Big stuff. Proud of you. Okay. And you had a TikTok go viral. Oh, yeah. So I had this weird, so crazy, <laughs> three and a half million. Stop! That's what it's at? Yes. Oh, my so gosh. Why? It's Listen, oh, I don't understand TikTok. Through, you know that. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand Ooh. viral stuff because like I've shared like the most intimate moments of my life. If you've ever been a listener of me on the radio, um, just quickly, miscarriage, infertility, those. Okay, just those. Just just sharing all that. And so for me to be planning a, a with Leanne and we just it filmed just it, like it's a, a forty plan. second thing. It's a lemongrass. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it has three and a half million. Well, that just launched the TikTok. So I almost have 20,000 followers on that. That's amazing. Just crazy. Um, and I've been sharing just a lot of mom stuff and how depression's real and that postpartum's real and that your feelings are mm -hmm. validated and that nobody should make you feel less than. So if that's Amen. what I'm learning now is that there are so many people that are narcissists that you don't know, but the way that they present things and they have for so long, and it's usually this powerful people that I thought that I've met. Right. They're these interesting people that I was so drawn to, but they needed me for a reason. Right. Yeah. Thank Ugh. you, Jen Hatmaker. Ugh. It sucks. Yeah. It does suck. It's so it's hard. It's so it hard. Makes you wanna, like, uh, it does. Mm. It's, but it's so true. It's so true. And so um, I think what I struggle with, like, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Because I've been such a successful person and I've always just like gone and gone and gone and gone. And like, what did I accomplish? Oh, I also got my certificate. Cert, certificate. I can't even say it. It's so I know what you are. She got her certificate to be a personal trainer. Yeah. So I also right. did that while I was detoxing off hardcore medication. Which is awesome. That's crazy. You are so productive. What in the heck? And, oh, well, I'm not going to say because oh. it's coming up on your list. Um, so... So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. These last six months have been wild. Uh, okay. So, then I also wrote down um, the Addy Awards. Okay. So, Liz and I have been doing the Beachy Mamas, which was also a really beautiful thing, too. Let me just remind mm -hmm. you to make an ask out of yourself. I actually just did a TikTok about this, too. You know, helping with the... Oh, I'm helping with the school community garden where the kids used to 
go to school. So I spend time watering that Love little that. baby over there. Um, by the way, we have seven melons, so I'm Aww. so excited. <laughs> They're going to eat that for a snack one day yeah. and know that they helped. Mm, they Aww. are. They are. Um, but just Good making stuff. an ask out of yourself. So I reached out to Liz and said, hey, I got this wild idea. We had both been wanting to do a podcast uh, so make an ask out of yourself. There might be somebody that wants to do something too. Maybe that you're vibing with. You have a, a creative outlet idea. Ask them. 100%. Uh, maybe there's a way you can serve and volunteer. Ask somebody. Maybe somebody has something that you need to give. Ask somebody. Uh, we don't do that enough. We always assume that people don't need anything or don't right. want anything. And that's not true. People need you and want you and need to be felt, loved, and heard. Absolutely. So make an ask out of yourself. That's our next t-shirt. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of t-shirts, by the way. Listen oh, to the Beachy really like Mamas um, for the other teacher ideas. Um, and then the other thing that I just wrapped up, which is pretty cool for my birthday month, uh, The Bid Magazine is mm -hmm. a local publication here in the city of Corpus Christi. And I just won the locals list Woo! that's, like, fan voted. Like, times like... two, hello. Yeah. Not, just, not just one category. It was for <laughs> Two. <laughs> two categories. That's like, what? So, Who are you? So great. Superstar I'm like star. the roach that won't die. I just keep coming back. <laughs> you gotta have I'm adding that to the t-shirt list also. I'm like the roach who wouldn't die. Yep, that's that's actually one. a great shirt. I'm adding it to the list. As <laughs> so, you know, man, Liz, thanks for saying that because as I was going into this, because I thought, what are some fun things that I could share that I've done? this 40th year also just being present for my kids and being happy and wanting to be there. Well, uh, and what a, you didn't mention, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, what? Cause no. this is your show, but I'm taking no, it over. What? You didn't say you what? kept your kids home oh. for the summer. So, oh, I also got brave. That is so big. <laughs> that is so, when you're That's a twin true. mom with toddlers to, to willingly volunteer and offer and say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to lean into this, mom thing yeah because i love my kids so much and yeah. i prayed for them so hard yeah and i'm gonna lean in and it's gonna be so hard and especially <sighs> yeah. with all the other stuff you have going yeah. on walk leaving your career yeah to focus on you yeah working on your mental health working yeah. on all your things but saying i'm gonna do all of Damn. those things but also wrangle three-year-old yeah crazy people yeah true girlfriend true. no it's like yeah it's like i Hi. wrangle dinosaurs all day hello yeah hello Okay. Should we watch Jurassic Park? I like, mean, do we yeah. remember what those people went through with the it's dinosaurs true. around? That's what? true. You're you're I... like Jeff Goldblum <laughs> in Jurassic Park. You're like, also the roach that doesn't die. See, there we go. Oh my god, that is like making that T-shirt. I'm so proud of you, girl. You killed it. I don't, you know, I somebody, my friend Terry just shared this on um, uh, TikTok. And she just said, every time I see videos of you and your babies, because I shared one, like, point of view, and it's Levi sleeping in the middle of the day, and I got to put him down for a nap. Yeah. You never get those moments back. Nope. And that's, um, um, I think when it's, when you're finally quiet, is what I kept hearing is, like, you only get this time once. That's right. And we're going to be poor. <laughs> but, um... I'll never, an amount of money, get back. That's right. Of Levi and Grace napping in splash pads in the middle of the day or the early morning. Yes, I was going to say, those early mornings when you don't have to be somewhere. Yeah. And, and to just mm, snuggle and cuddle. Yeah, those and are. lay together. So special. And, um, you those know, are the things they're going to remember. No, they are. And um, I think we talked about that earlier, that, that not every moment needs to be filled with things. Right. And, um. I feel like I'm finally safe and comfortable enough in who I am that it doesn't need to be filled with tons of activities that we can yes. just be. Yeah, um, that's huge. And um, I think, I don't know if we talked about some beachy mamas, but um, just being encouraged on the, what I have done. Yes. You know, and uh, I often share this with Jason a lot because I'm always, I always feel like I'm not content because I struggle with this because I, I don't work. You do work, girl. Well. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I think of anybody um, who's been a career woman, I think about mm -hmm. that too. Like, I couldn't wait to be a waitress. Like, I was a junior in high right. school. Like, it was so cool. Right. Because I had to make $200. Yeah. Hey, my little Sunfire, my little Pontiac Sunfire. <laughs> oh, it was I, bright red, oh, filled with leopard. I can visualize it. I smelled like a chicken fried steak my entire <laughs> year, you know, because I was a waitress. 
I've just always worked. Like I've never just not. Um, and you're right. I don't. Being a mom is not working. It's just different. It is and we different. talked about this on Beachy Mama. So please listen to that one, um, to that podcast as well. Listen, I've been doing that. Um, it's just different. And I tell Jason, like, I know I'm supposed to be content. Yeah. And I just some days just don't feel that. So mm-hmm. I'm like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? But I had a lady at Sam's and this is so beautiful. And this is how I wrap it up. This lady, this, this couple's walking out to me and it's, it's two ladies. And, um, so thankful for this moment. <laughs> Anna, thank you. Um, and she goes, do you remember me? Do you remember me? Well, we have face masks on. So I, I'm okay. like, I please pull your mask down. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm picturing you. And uh, I gave away Taylor Swift tickets years okay. ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, the biggest Taylor Swift fan in Corpus Christi. Yeah. And we just were remembering that. So yeah. for her to remember that was just so special yeah. to me. And I was telling her mom, like, I don't really know what I'm doing now. And she said, you're a mom and you're doing it. That's right. Oh, I love that. And that is so important and so good. It is. And so. You've killed it in your 40th year. I guess I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I feel like you nailed it. I you nailed uh, it. Yeah. You know what? Shit, I did. And, and that's what Terry was sharing. She was like, I'm just, you're so strong, Coco. Every time I see these videos of you and your babies on TikTok or social media, she's like, you're just so strong. But also because Terry, and if you've been listening, you know that like what we did to get these children, like right. we did IVF. I had a miscarriage. We did have, we only had two embryos left. It was a shot. Jason had to sell his car. We had to do all these things. things. And it's just been happening. Like, there's been lawsuits. There's been bull crap. There's been uh, so much. backstabbing. There's been just defeat and crap. Just things and um, counseling and postpartum depression, anxiety, and just all these things. And, and um, it can are. snowball. No, you're right. It can snowball. And, I um, can. I, you know, when I share on social, like I'm picking myself up by the bootstraps. I want you to know that that's real. And I, that's why I use hashtag real talk. I'm vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Which is so good and You're, so important. And that's what, that's what the world needs more of. It does. I so. mean, I shared, I shared, and this is not my podcast, but I shared with Coco no, earlier. The world yeah. needs more people who yeah. are out there helping each other, yeah, being, vulnerable, being vulnerable, yeah. being real, being honest, being open, not having an agenda, just I, putting it out there. I think when people really wear the shirts that say, be kind, I think we really like yeah. for real, for real, <laughs> for real. And I think as I'm just unpacking as like, I'm an adult, I'm a very emotional person. We haven't even gotten into the whole Enneagram craziness. <laughs> oh, that's right. Really quick. Let's wrap that up with, cause I sent yeah. it to Liz. Um, re- okay. So she okay. is a, um, I shared on my last podcast how I'm a two. My husband is a five, so go back and listen to that. He's now totally dived into um, who he is as a person, so it's been so interesting. And um, in the very beginning, we talked about Jen Hatmaker, and she was saying how she took her Enneagram. And for a long time, I didn't want to take it. I don't know why. It's because once you know, like, then you have it's, to it deal like with it. It, like, opens up a can of worms. It and does. And it's a lot. And we should, like, we'll do another. No, we like, will. I want to join you again on here, and we'll talk yes. about the Enneagram because I'm super, like. We will because it's so, so interesting. But just uh, just really quickly of um, the last 40 years running into this wild lady, you never know who <laughs> God's going to place in your life. hundred percent. And something else I'm trying to be okay with is God removing people from my life. Also and true. I struggle with that because y'all know I'm a two. So if I'm not in your life anymore, I hope your life is amazing. Hey, and maybe it'll circle back. But and thank you for being a part of mine and right. you fulfilled it when you needed to. And I hope that served you and yours. And you, I guarantee you did. So what Coco sent me earlier, so I'm a nine. And yes. so when we very first met, it's been like a whirlwind, crazy. Like we just had this instant connection. And so today we looked up between Enneagrams two and nines, which is what we are. This pairing has an outstanding, warm, kindly, and good natured quality about it that each side reinforces. I feel like that yep. word is just like because <laughs> today flashing. we reinforce each other oh, before we started podcasting. Day. Yes, we did. I need to do a little project she needed help with on cleaning the pool table. But yes, anyways. She did. Like reinforcing. <laughs> Twos and nines are easygoing, hospitable, and undemanding, happy to make friends happy and to welcome them into their home. I love Which that. Which is like so true. I swear it's like <laughs> the the motto of the like the definition of 
our friendship and our relationship. And, and I'm like so what, thankful. What we want for the Coastal Bend Mom yes. Collective. So when we host splash pad dates and play dates and all these things, like yeah. we want to be the community for you guys. So yes. like when you're feeling uncomfortable, it's good, boo. We'll take we'll, yeah, we'll just, take care just of it. Like give us a little yeah. give us a little wink and a wave, yeah. and we will come yeah. and like talk for you so i'm excited um these last uh six months um i i have also have a lot of feelings around my birthday so i put a lot of expectations on them and i'm not going in this year because i've finally learned that after i would say a good since my 21st birthday yeah. those such milestones right you want it the 21st to be big and it didn't yeah. happen yeah. you know what i'm saying well it's uh, you circle that back to what we have yeah. expectations for our kids because of pinterest and social media yeah it's not the same as birthdays but we do the same thing. oh yeah like hi let's stop having these but, crazy expectations no. but i had a sick 40th this year too right well yeah it's, no i do I mean, have a i do ha yes i do have something planned because my friends are like um the party was so sick last year what's up i was like <laughs> Oh, so I'm been a little depressed and full of anxiety and just don't have time for that. So if you want to plan it, cool. And so they did. They sent me a schedule and then I, I sent it, it to my friends. They're like, oh my God, he just schedules. Like, oh no. Remember, I still have anxiety and depression. So anyways, so here's awesome. to my 41st year. Um, as always, thank you for believing in me, supporting in me, voting for me, following me in my crazy life and shenanigans. Um, that is, you know, Coco's Corner. I am so beyond thankful um, Liz, thank you for opening up and just helping me tap into things I didn't even know and just be an encourager. I think that's so important and, and, it is. and we you're need so in our fun. Life mm -hmm. that fill us up, yes. Right? But also now you know that I'm a very needy too. You can't do nothing crazy. So when you're ready to just like leave me high and dry, just, just text me. I'll just text first and be like, hi, I need a break. Hi, I'm out. Just for a week and text then I'll call me. You later. Uh, that'd be great. So, I got you, boo. Okay, friend, I hope everything um, is good in your life. You know what? Guess what, friend, if it's not, I feel you. I 100% get that. But go to sleep, drink some water, and try again tomorrow. I love you, mean it. See you later. Peace.